Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, so, I wanted to make a video today to show you guys how I overcame the issue that I'm having of having a larger dog in a small yard, and you get the, the odors that come with it from, from urine specifically. Um, so, you know, everything's cement back here. I don't have any dirt for the longest time. I'll show you here. This used to be a dirt patch where you know they would come to leave themselves i've also a little chihuahua um but you know I, I had gravel back here and over time it was easy all i had to do was just spray it down with water not an issue over time though um the ground be started to become saturated with ammonia from the pee and it, it just it really started to smell so i started throwing some bleach on it um you know that that worked for a little bit but eventually it still stunk it just made a huge mess with the mud and it was terrible so I needed to figure out a way to overcome that and this is what I came up with it's kind of like a, it's a trough um, and what I did was I just connected some two by fours down at the bottom kind of framed it out to make a box um, ran some PVC C liner up along the sides as well as underneath um, and then some support boards back here to hold up this side of the, the liner the reason I did the sides was my dog he likes to lift his legs so that was able to catch the urine kind of corral it down below that way I can just come and rinse it out with the hose um, which eventually just kind of drains out through under the fence over there into the grass um, so yeah this worked out really well it doesn't smell um, as long as you clean it and, and treat it with uh, what I do is a combination of bleach water uh, well water and bleach and uh, so I'll show you what I have so this here this is a thinner pond liner this is only a 20 millimeter I believe is what it was the one at the bottom is a 40 millimeter I wanted to go a little more durable I didn't want to have to replace this thing every year or two I don't know but uh, so far this thing has been out here hell about three years maybe four years it's held up really well um, no tears in the liner or anything like that it's not deteriorating anywhere um, the grass the artificial turf I picked up at uh, Lowe's and as far as the framing goes on the box um, I did put a little a small support here just to keep everything square so there you go so just a small piece of wood that I attached just so the boards don't shift uh, underneath the, the turf I have the liner the liner that just goes all the way down the length and that'll just you know catch anything and it'll rinse out down at the end now beyond that I have these blue floor grates and this just prevents uh, you know water or anything pulling up into the grass when it rains things like that uh, and that worked out really well so there's never any pooling here it all drains out at the end uh, what I used to have though is I used to have this squared it was a trough and I used to have a, a spigot here at the end that I would attach a hose to and I would just drain it out to the to the gutter in the street um, but that just became too much kind of stunk because it was holding too much of the, the urine in the water so real simple all I do is I come out here grab my hose hose it down and for the most part this is going to get rid of most of your odors if you're doing it daily depending on the size of the dog as well i have a 75 pound husky so he does a little bit of damage back here but uh otherwise uh like i said combination of bleach water uh and uh a pressure washer sometimes i'll use just to really do a deep cleaning so an electric pressure washer should do the trick uh at least like 2000 psi i would say um, otherwise, as far as the costs associated with this, I already had the wood, so that didn't cost me anything. Uh, the the liner here on the side, that was the thinner liner. Um, I believe that was like 50 bucks for a, well, I can't remember the measurements. Uh, like I said, I've had it for a few years. Um, but the liner at the bottom, uh, that being the thicker liner, that was about 100 bucks, I want to say. Uh, the turf was about a hundred bucks for a, a 10 foot by 3 foot section um, Which is basically the measurements I have here uh, And otherwise uh, that was about it. 
that was about it so pretty simple build you can get this done in you know an hour or so uh you need a staple gun also just to put the liner into the wood um but short of that it's worked great um if you guys have any questions let me know uh yeah if you want to go ahead and build this stuff yourself most of this you can get at lowe's um or, or maybe home depot i don't know so if you have any questions, let me know. Like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Have a good day, guys.